abandoned ruined castle all to yourself but that's exactly what I've got today look at this beautiful Mulgrave old castle and the plan for today uh, I've set out with just one goal today and uh, that is to uh, do some time lapses of the stars and to take some star shots so I'll be looking for a place to camp on the coast uh, and I haven't brought a shelter or a tarp or anything I'm just gonna lie on the floor <laughs> with a bug net over me uh, and just hope it doesn't rain or up I'm not too cold but I don't know I won't die it'll be and it'll be an adventure anyway and I'm gonna try and get some amazing shots of the of the stars uh, because where I am, I'm near uh, a place called Whitby, where I grew up, incidentally. And uh, it's one of the only places in the UK that you can see the sun rise and the sun set in the sea on the, on the same day. And it happens around this time. So hopefully, I'm going to go and witness that. I'm just going to sit on the cliff and watch the sun uh, go into the sea and then come out of the sea tomorrow morning, first light. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you along, my future self, and whoever's watching, and uh, just to see what whining. But listen, peaceful. I'll I'll pick you up and I'll just take you for a little tour of this castle. Because, uh, well, we've got an old fireplace there. You see that? I'll tell you what I could do, because I don't really have anywhere to camp at the moment. I'm not too fussed. So I could actually camp here. In this old castle just for Freaksville. But look, go through here. The only problem is well, what's that? A well. There it is. A little turret. This would have been a great spot, look at that. Back in the day. It's a stunner. This, I don't know what this would have been. This would have been like a little, a little living area away from the main house. And, uh, hey up. Came hiding in there. You're lucky I'm not on that sort of holiday, mate. Otherwise, you could be getting a swift little catapult shot. And it's not season anyway, so you're safe, mate. I just admire your beautiful plumage.
Okay. Yeah, this bit looks like it would have been used as a an area of defence because they've got the old archer's window. I don't know if you can see. For shooting your bows out of either side. Yeah, from an elevated position as well. You don't want to be dropping your camera. Look at that beautiful. And out here, way up. You don't want to be stacking it down there either. At all. Pretty cool. Fancy getting up there to be honest. Might get up there and have a drink. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Just look at it. I'm the only one here. Got the whole woods to myself, old castle to myself. Look at that. Probably shouldn't be climbing on it. What can we do though? I'm sat right on the ledge. Definitely won't want to stack it down there. <clears throat> you see here, uh, try and get a zoom in for you. This looks like uh, precarious. I wouldn't do this if I was on my if I was if I wasn't stupid. See here, that's the old toilet. Sit on there. Sit on that bit. Get it in there, yeah. And then drop it through down below. Because I've got this to contend with. Beautiful Mulgrave Woods. Serious. <laughs> That's a lot of ducks. Jesus. Look at this.
fair enough. <laughs> That's so weird because we're in the middle of a wood now. <clears throat> That's mad. So like, what I assume is going on there is <clears throat> the estate who owns the wood, not content with ramming loads of pheasant coops and pheasant feeds everywhere, have decided to branch out into ducks. Because if you look closely, they've all had their wings clipped. That means clipped. So they can't fly out, of the, they can't get out of there. Mad. Also, the oh, that's all because also that the rich boys can uh, can shoot them. There's a lot of money in it. Um, they get some very big stars come up here and go shooting. Um, Andy Peters was one of them. Uh, he wasn't, he wasn't one of them. Elle McPherson and people like that, apparently. But, it didn't... They don't have a fighting chance, do they? Look at them. I could just throw a stone at one and kill it. I'd earn a shotgun anyway, that's mental. Yeah, that's... In, for... My, any of my friends watching... Um. Look, mainly Joe and Bud. That's in the middle of Mulgrave Woods, lad. Just a man-made huge pond with a load of ducks in it. Say la vie, crack on. Perfect. It's the ultimate garden. It's the ultimate, look at my water feature. Check out the acoustics on that water feature. That's my herbaceous border. I've got a little rock, I've got a little rockery there. And up there, that's my rockery too. Free, it's a free garden. And it's better than any garden I've ever made. I've only got one, I've only got my, uh, a litre bottle of water so I'm just topping up on the move out of the Sire Mini so I've just remembered that I forgot I forgot my tent pegs to peg out my bug net and um, yeah, my, just my sheet that I'm keeping on. I've actually... Uh, what I need... I'm looking for a bit of hazel so that I can make... I think I need four, five... I need six tent pegs because I forgot my tent peg, so... I just need to... Look at that. That's a big old beech tree. What size of that? Huge. So I just need to find some, ideally some hazel, some straight hazel in there. I'll make some tent pegs while I'm in the woods because I never, I just don't know if I'm going to be able to get any trees 
where I'm going. So I'll make use while I'm here and get some, if I can find some. It's a bit rough. <coughs> I better be on my on my guard round here because it's a bit of a rough area. There's a lot of uh, a lot of muggings, um, just a lot of street crime, a lot of poverty. But you know, the underclass. Look at this squalor. Absolute. I don't know how they cope. Shit, run! Boom! Here we are, at the sea. <sighs> the big blue. The big blue sea. I'm off up there somewhere. Try and get on the end of this thing here and do a bit of camping. Because that way I'll be able to see all this sky and all that. I could just do with some of these wispy, could do with some of these clouds moving. The good thing is though, these sort of clouds make for a beautiful sunset. It's going to be an absolute going to be worth it. It's going to be worth the trip for the sunset. You'll see. There, just, there seems to be trees up there, so I think I'll be able to get my tent pegs made up there while I'm there. I might as well try and film this bit because I like to film it when there's a good chance that I'll stack it and there's a good chance that I might stack it here and uh, the fans would like to see me <laughs> tumble down this hill I think although I'm handling it, handling it like a like a mountain goat at the moment no danger look at that The goat. The goat, the greatest of all time. He says stacking it to the bottom. Ugh. There we go. There we go. I've just been sat on top of there, just catching some, catching some rays, and uh, so I've I've dropped down into this bit here because it's uh, it's quite a few trees. So I think I'll be able to get my tent pegs. Although I don't have my backhoe Laplander because I didn't think it was that sort of trip. I do have my knife though, which I'll have to do. I'm sure I'll be able to sort something. It's just nice. I don't think I'll get any hazel though down here. I think it's pretty much it's all sort of maple. Uh. 
Tell you what, man. Look at this. I'm starting to wish I brought the hammock. Dead. Plenty of wood. Right, back in. Get back in there with some tent pegs. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll go whittle them into some pegs. Job done. Right, down on the beach now, look at that. If I leave the bag here then I'm not going to lose it. <laughs> Let's get in the sunshine at least, man. Right, okay. Alright. Right, that's what I'm looking for. A little thing underwater there. A winkle. <sighs> basically, just it's basically a sea snail, and it has like a little hard lid that it, it pulls over itself and hides in there. But we'll get him out and we'll eat him. This little fella is a bit too small at the moment. He's trying to get me. He's a brown crab or stone crab. In a good few years, that'd be good. If it get out of the wind, if it was a survival situation, you'd probably have him, but it's not. And he's going to get a lot bigger. He's so powerful. So we'll leave him. Let's go back where he came from. There you go.
go, mate. Whew. Tell you what, I'm gonna have to bring the lobster traps down here. I bet there's some beauties. Joey D, what do you think? Perfect. Right, we've got plenty of plenty of winkles now, or sea snails, or whatever you want to call them, bagged up. So it's now time to go and find somewhere to chill out, find somewhere to camp. I think we're going to have to go. We're not going to. We can't be too close to the edge because we need to be. Stupidly, I only brought a two-season bag as well, so it could get quite chilly with the wind. So we'll find a little bit of shelter and we'll set up camp. That's it. Normally you would purge them. Normally you'd purge them in fresh water overnight so they spit out all the grit. But we're hardcoring it today, so we're just gonna boil them up. And they only take three, five minutes, three to five minutes in boiling water. And then traditionally, or oh, when I was a kid, I used to have them with vinegar, which is mental, I know, but tastes nice but we're just gonna have them as they come right I'll show you a winkle a winkle slash sea snail see that's its little protector Quite pretty, really, with the like little stained glass windows. And then you get your pin and you have to coax him out like that. <laughs> Boom. Now See that bottom bit? Where are we? There. A lot of people will throw that away because it's all the... It's all it's shit, basically. But not me. Because all they do is graze. They just graze on there. They just graze on seaweed, like mussels are filter feeders, so you've got more chance of getting ill. But these, like limpets, are just uh, they graze on stuff. Mm. Just reminds me of my childhood. Really nice. I'm just going to sit and eat these. And then I'm going to set up a camp here, I think. <laughs> right, I'll quickly, I'm running out of battery on this one, sir. And I've only got one battery left and I need to do the time lapses of the sky because that's the only reason why I've come really. So I'll quickly show you my setup for the night and then I'll knock it on Ed. So this is it. This is all I've got. Um, Talk you through it. It's basically the 
It's the DD Travel Hammock um, and it's just as a bivvy and I've used the tent, I've, I've used my walking sticks with a guy line, uh, used the sticks that I got from the woods earlier. Um, I've got the, it's just a two, two season sleeping bag <laughs> and then I've got my little torch my lantern set up on a ridge line there and uh, let's have a look I think it's pretty cool oh it means I can Perfect. No bugs can get me and I can still stare at the sky. Um, this is where I've decided to camp. I'm just sort of set back from that. That's the sea. That's the sea just over this, over this ridge. Uh, and then that's the big blue. <laughs> so what I'm going to do I'm going to sign off now because I've got another battery for the cannon but I want to use it for uh, all sorts of time lapses this evening so that'll be the last of it this is my last entry so I'll hopefully I'll upload some good some good uh, some time lapses of the stars and hopefully the sun rise or sunset or both who knows yeah but i'm going to focus on that now and sign off from doing the vlogging and just enjoy some me time and take some nice photos of the stars and that so yeah thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next one tata -ta. peace Yeah. And we are lost in this world of greed.